It brings together the best cultural narratives, the story of uh, Te Meru Meru, the story of Ngāti Hine, the cultural narratives of which these children are a part. It brings together the best educational practice around early childhood education. It brings together energy, efficiency and architecture around acoustics and sound, around um, the layout. It is truly an example of how you bring best practice, multicultural practice together to drive up educational engagement. Whakamihio kia ngāti hine. And those of you who um, have never travelled north of Rotorua, if you're ever up in the north, I really commend to you that you go see Te Meru Meru. He um, And about 12% um, is in operations grant. So almost 90% almost of vote education is already committed. And clearly the profession is our biggest investment at over three and a half billion dollars. So you can have high expectation of that resource. Indeed you must have, because these professionals want to be challenged. They want to see their performance um, raised. They want engagement with iwi and hapu and Fano, They want parent interest. They want to know that you share the expectations they have of their students, your uri whakatipu. So koa e mataku, haere ki ngā kura, haere ki te kōrero ki ngā hemana o ngā poari, ki ngā kaitiaki kura, ki ngā tumuaki, ki ngā kaiako. Kaua noho puku ki roto tō whare, whare amu, amu, backstab, haere, haere, hāngai tika tonu ki te kōrero, he kōrero teitei tēnei mō a tātou tamariki mokupona. And alongside our professionals, we have an outstanding curriculum and marautanga. It is truly a thing of beauty. It really does focus on the skills that our young people need to be able to acquire in order for them to negotiate and navigate the world of which they are a part. It bears some resemblance to the world that we have grown up in, but it is significantly different in many respects and it will continue to change. And so our young people need to be equipped with these critical skills of the ability to think and communicate and have good relationships and to process information and exercise judgment. Our curriculum and in the hands of our professionals is exactly what our young people need. We have additional resources. We've invested $1.5 billion in ultra-fast broadband. We've snuffed your schools. For those of you who don't know what snuffing is, it's ensuring that your schools can actually connect up. No point having this fabulous ultra-fast broadband zinging past, and that's what it does, is zing past. It needs to be connected to your schools and we are going to invest a further 300 to 400 million dollars in a network for learning. This is a 24-7 educational resource. And can I say, kia koutou, e tahi o koutou, um, mai i te wā i roto i te hiringa i te mahara, tērā kaupapa e whakahaere uh, nei e te tari uh, mātou ranga me mātou. Uh, koe rā, te wā tuatahi i ka whakaaro te, te ao mātou ranga me titiro tātou ki tēnei um, uh, rawa hau arā ko te computer, ko te laptop, uh, ko ēnei nihini um, whakahaere i rungi te ultra-fast broadband. So we've invested significant amounts in that and we've invested in positive behaviour for learning, in student achievement function. You might recognise these by their actual names, SAF, PB4L, um, and in te kotahitanga, he kākano, we have an increasingly, well, we have a high quality and relevant qualifications framework. We have a very focused and performance enhancing and continuous improvement assessment and reporting process out of ERO. We have a number of investments into the sector alongside of the profession itself. And as I said a little earlier, we are developing exciting and increasingly clear 
vocational pathways that with the help of parents and iwi working with schools, our young people can start choosing subjects and units as early as year seven, so that when they go to high school, they are gathering what they need to have a real qualification and make real choices of which vocational pathway they will go down. So if we have all these significant inputs, why are too many of our tamariki Māori not achieving? Why in 2010, in the far north district, did 248 Māori students attain NCEA 2, less than half of the 520 students eligible? Or in Manurewa Papakura, why did 247 of our kids get NCEA 2 out of 645? You'll see I'm using real numbers because percentages can remove the reality of the fact that we are talking about real children. Of the pool of year 9 to 13 Māori students in 2011, what might we expect for the 635 in Horofenua? The 1,287 in Lower Hutt, Kara. The 1,953 in Gisborne East Coast. The 364 in the Kaipara, the 1751 in Manuko. These are real kids, and they're not just numbers, not to you, and certainly not to me. Why? Well, there isn't one simple answer, but there is one really obvious answer, and that is that we need system change. We want a world class system that serves every one of our students in their unique, fabulous, different, individual way. That's what we want. That means you, me, we all must raise our expectations of the system as we raise our expectations of ourselves, as we raise our expectations for our students. These numbers are not averages or statistics. They are real kids with real names, with enduring whakapapa, and they live in your communities, and they live in my communities. In 2011, the total roll number of Māori students was 171,796. 84,317 were girls, or are girls, and 87,479 are boys of whom nearly two-thirds are in years four to eight, and 58,000 are in years nine to 13, 23% of the total student roll. This is where that one in four figure comes from. So we have 171,796 kids enrolled in our school system in 2011. So my call to action to you today is to take local responsibility for local change for local kids. How many of these girls and boys are in your rohe? What schools are they at? Are they there when the bell goes in the morning until it goes again in the afternoon, every day? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Mane ture, wenere, tae te praere, kare tae au te whakahua e rā, ingoa hau mo e nei rā. Um, ka kite koutou rō te wā, uh, mai i te wā i hāri a hau ki te kura. Does the BOT know you, the parents and whānau, and your concern for, interest in, and expectation of Meriana, Tāmati, Marianne, Thomas, whatever these beautiful ingoa tipuna, ingoa whānau that these children carry, and what the school is doing about their learning aspirations, and how you can work together with the school to realise them. Does the principal demonstrate inclusive and respectful leadership? Has she or he set a culture of expectation and achievement for all? Are the teachers using data and information and feedback to improve their learning engagement with their students? Your uri whakatipu. Are they teaching an engaging, cross-curriculum, fun program? 
out of which, yes, we want to know, are they literate and numerate? Can they read and write and do maths? And guess what? If it is an engaging, relevant, cross-curriculum programme being delivered, we will raise literacy and numeracy, and we will have engaged, participating students, and let's hope good people and nice citizens of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Is there a successful collaboration going on between you, the iwi partners, and the schools and boards of trustees in your rohe? And how do you know? So my call to action to you today is to take local responsibility for local change for local kids. And, because I'm not an either or person, I am an and, 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 ad nauseum and person, and we want nationwide system improvement and change, and national policies and programs that support that, and best use of resources and most use of best practice. And we will seek out ways through our iwi partnerships and our engagement with the iwi forum for you to inform and influence and drive these national level policies and programs. But here's the thing, these 171,796 kids don't live in the education system. They don't live in the national policies and they don't live in the national programs. And apart from 1,333 year 9 to 13 students, they don't live in Wellington. They live in a town near you. And if they don't, that's where you need to be finding them and getting them into a school near you. Making the difference for them will make the difference for our nation. So we are discussing exciting ways that the Ministry of Education can work with you and others in a collaborative model to raise achievement in measurable ways. To move beyond saying how much we need change, to move beyond saying whose fault it is, to move beyond saying this is what we have been promised, to move beyond all of that to saying how can we have this young person achieve NCEA2 this year. How can we get the transition of this 12 or 13 year old into a high school successfully and happily occurring? How can we make sure that this 10 year old nephew or niece, the lights are not already dimming in their excitement about what their life journey might look like unfolding in front of them? How can we get a collaborative model that says to our young men and women, Take care of our babies, get them into early childhood education, be a part of that journey, help them to happily and successfully transition into their year one at their local school. How do we bring together all these elements I've talked about of the boards, of the professional leaders, of the teachers, of the business community, of the trainers, of the providers, of you, how can we work in a collaborative model together to move past the talking and into the action of making the difference for these real kids with real names, with enduring whakapapa, so that they have a passport to an excellent quality of life? Our newish Secretary for Education, Leslie Longstone, will shortly talk about her call to action for the Ministry of Education in particular, but for the education sector as a whole. For my part, as the newish Minister of Education, I feel a strong sense of excitement, of optimism and of urgency. We don't have another day or another generation to waste. Ours is a combined call to action. And I commit to you my enthusiasm, my advocacy, my energy, focus wholeheartedly on the learner at the centre and on unrelentingly raised achievement.